My name is Rick Mannon, and I'm an inductee into the Brantford Area Sports Hall of Recognition. And today I'm honored to be interviewing Tanya Hunks for the sport of swimming. Tanya was born and raised in Brantford and was a competitive swimmer by the age of eight. She became a member of the Canadian National Swim Team in 2001. She won 20 Canadian National Championships. She won bronze medals at the 2006 Pan Pacific Championships and a bronze medal at the 2007 Pan Am Games. She won gold and bronze medals at the 2009 Swimming World Cup. And she also represented Canada and competed for Canada at the 2008 Summer Olympics in Beijing. Tanya, what drew you into the sport of swimming? Well, I have an older brother and he started swimming and um, I was that lovely little sister that wanted to do everything her big brother did um, and I was always competitive and I remember being at the swim meets and sitting upstairs with my mom and my dad and being like, I can do better than they can, like I should be down there and um, they finally put me in swimming and I just loved it and didn't look back and I, when I was five years old I told my mom I was going to go to the Olympics and I don't even think I really knew what it meant or what I was going to go for um, but then once I started swimming um, I knew that that is what I wanted to do and go and rep represent Canada at the Olympics in swimming. That's great. Do you have any mentors that have been a, made an impact on your life, your sport or your career? Uh, yes, I do. Um, I was fortunate enough to swim with an amazing swimmer no, named Joanne Millar, who is one of the best swimmers in Canada and in the world. And um, I looked up to her, and um, she actually had the 400 individual medley Canadian record, and I broke that at one of my last um, international swim meets. So it was extremely, it was such an honor for me to um, be able to break such an incredible swimmer and um, individual record. And then I also, the people I look up to are, you know, my mom and my dad. I just look at everything that they've accomplished in their life and how much they have sacrificed for their family. And, um, you know, I'm extremely thankful and honored that they're my parents and that they stood behind me because I, I never would have been able to accomplish the things I accomplished without them. So I'm really thankful. What are some of the highlights in your career? Um, there's a lot. Um, I had a very up and down career and um, which I've been asked in the past if I could go back and change it, would I? And I wouldn't. <laughs> um, even though there were some really low points in my career, um, you know, going to my fourth Olympic trials and touching the wall and turning around and seeing that I finally made the Olympic team, like my dream came true and my mom and dad being up in the stands. Um, it was, it was worth every tear, every heartache, every mile I swam, you know, every early morning. Um, and so also one of my favorite memories from the Olympics is I walked out on day one and I looked up in the stands and it was just so many people, a sea of people. And I was like, I wonder if I'm going to be able to see my mom and my dad, you know, like a little kid again. And I looked up and scanned and I was like, no, I can't see them. And then I started to walk to my coach, Tom Johnson at the time. And I heard this whistle I'd heard my whole life. And I just stopped dead in my tracks and it was my dad. Mm -hmm. And uh, my mom really couldn't see me. She was just doing a wave like this, <laughs> covering all her bases. And, um, you know, after the meet going over and, my parents just saying how proud they were and my dad having tears in his eyes and saying, I saw you swim at your first ever swim meet and I didn't think you were gonna finish 25 meters. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and to, for you to accomplish your, your dreams is, um, is he was honored. And, um, and then my, there's so many, but my last swim meet where I broke the Canadian record in 400 individual medley in Rome, my parents also came and when I was marching out on deck, I saw them. And so I just kind of did a little wave to them. And um, after I turned around and saw that I broke the record, like I almost was like, is that really my time? Like I just did that kind of thing. And I turned around and I swam back and so I could see my parents and um, I, 
like waved to them and blew them a kiss because as much as that was my Canadian record, it was also my parents' Canadian record, my teammates' Canadian record, my coaches and my support staff because swimming is an individual sport but it's also a huge team behind me because going into that um, that meet um, at our trials, I actually, my shoulder popped out of its socket during 400 IM and um, I finished the race because I wasn't going to get out because I'm, I'm stubborn <laughs> and uh, I, I couldn't really swim leading up to that meet so it was, it was bittersweet because I wasn't really sure how I was going to compete there because it wasn't my ideal preparation. But. Okay, great. What are you doing now? And how has your sport impacted your life? Um, now I, um, I coach um, little guys. Um, I, I've done teenagers too, but definitely my passion lies more with the grassroots and, you know, 11 and under. Um, they just bring me so much joy and uh, it's one of those things that I can give back to a sport that gave me so much and taught me so much. And I also work at Lulu Lemon Athletica's head office. And definitely the things that swimming has taught me is drive, determination, perseverance. And like I was saying before, I didn't have a straight and narrow path. And, um, but I didn't give up. And it's one of those things that if it's in the working world, if it's in a relationship, if it's just life, there's going to be challenges in there. And um, I've had some pretty big challenges in my life. And um, I guess I know that, you know, like bring it on, like I'll, I'll take it and I'll do the best I can and I'll come out the other end a stronger person because of it. Great. Now, what does it mean to you? Uh, being inducted into the Brampton Area Sports Hall of Recognition. It's pretty incredible and it's a huge honor. Like people that are in this, um, in here, it's, you know, like Wayne Gretzky is in here. There's so many incredible athletes. So to be recognized as, you know, one of them, is, it's, an, it, it's a huge honor. It's, um, someone else was asking me to put it into words and I'm like, I don't really know how. It's just like, you know, when I heard about it, I was just, my heart was just so full and, um, and happy and it's one of those things that you know me seeing some of these people in here when I was younger it also drove me to wanting to be here so I hope that you know when young kids walk through here um, they hear some of our stories and how some of us didn't have that straight narrow path and if it if that's what you want to keep fighting for it because there will be downs but the ups are so worth every single down you'll ever have. That actually leads me to the next <laughs> question, which is what advice would you share with a young aspiring athlete? <laughs> to go for it, to dream big, and when you get knocked down, look, look, take a seat, and um, you know if it's not your best practice, if it's not your, if it's not your best race, uh, tournament, what you know, whatever sport you're in, um, to look back, and there's one good thing that happened in that race or in that practice and to focus on that and not to focus on the negative because it's very easy it's easy to focus on that and to get discouraged um, you know one thing I learned really late in my career and I wish I would have learned it earlier was um, as long as you can look in the mirror and say I gave a hundred percent that's all that matters and there's going to be another time to step up on the blocks or to go out on the arena or anything like that and and to take those learnings that you had and and to move forward with it. That's fantastic. Is there anything else you'd like to tell us? <laughs> Well, I could tell my first ever swimming story, which is Why pretty don't you do funny. That? That, yes. <laughs> so when I was pretty young, my mom took me to the Wayne Gretzky Sports Center to do mother-daughter like aqua tots, and um, I'm not sure how old I was, but I really didn't like the water. I was holding on to my mom and strangling her and screaming at the top of my lungs, I'm your baby, don't kill me. Hmm. And um, we came home and my dad was all excited waiting at the door like, how was it? <laughs> and uh, I think he could tell from the look on my mom's face that it really didn't go that well. <laughs> and um, so my dad took me back the next week and 
um, got it all sorted out and I, from there we've never looked back I've just been you know that that aqua baby kind of thing that you can't get me out of the water so yeah thank you <laughs> thank you